Fall weather is here and many people are starting to crank up the heat for the very first time. WBRE 28, WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costa spoke with a local heating company about how they're prepared for its busy season during an industry shortage. The temperatures are going down and the heat is being cranked up for many residents in NEPA. Unfortunately for some, that led to a phone call to a local heating repair company. We've been getting a ton of calls since Sunday. Yes, the phones lit up right after that cold snap came through. RJ Groner Heating, AC and Plumbing Company has served Monroe County residents for more than 70 years. They tell me they are one of the industries facing shortages due to COVID. You're seeing it in the supermarkets, you're seeing it everywhere in automotive industries and things along those lines. We're having the same problem. So let's find those problems before they become a breakdown and then we run into an issue where we may not be able to get a part right away for you. Tui says their parts shortages are across the board, including boilers, furnaces, and heat pumps. We waited uh, almost three months for a, a major component for a system just recently, so, and that's a big concern for us in our industry. Besides checking your filters and keeping up with maintenance on your heaters, you should make sure to have properly working carbon monoxide and smoke detector alarms inside your home. Now, despite many turning on the heat, some locals tell me they're still waiting to make the switch. We haven't gotten there quite yet. It was this close last night because it was a little cold, but by the by the weekend, we'll probably turn it back on. So in Stroudsburg, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News. RJ Groner tells us because of the shortages and longer shipping times, they ordered extra parts ahead of the winter season.